Let's dive right into filleting this snapper, y'all. I've got my seven inch blade today, and just like any other fish I would fillet, pretty simple, just nice clean cuts. But I also wanna mention really quick, here come the holidays, and here comes Black Friday, and all awesome stuff coming up ahead. But I want you guys to check out my website, darsizzleoffshore.com, for awesome custom-made sterling silver necklaces that I hand make myself, just like this beautiful sailfish pendant that I'm wearing. And don't forget about the stone crab claw necklaces that I also make myself out of the stone crabs that we harvest. So if you're interested in stuff made by me, as well as my 2021 calendars, my awesome fish hook and anchor bracelets, all these things, I sell on my website, custom made to what you would like. I would highly appreciate it if you guys go check it out. They're great stocking stuff for gifts and great gifts for the outdoors person, men and women alike. All right, so we're just making this cut. And this fish is actually fairly easy to fillet. Um, they're, they're not very tough like a mutton snapper. They're actually very similar to like a yellowtail snapper. And the meat kind of falls right off the skin. It's just delicious, kind of falls apart in your mouth. It's so amazing. We're just gonna flip it over and do the same exact thing real quick, knock off both these sides, and then just make that cut. Go up, turn your knife around, make that cut, and then go straight down the back, of course. And I just love the flex in this blade. I can really follow the bones really well. And you just kind of feel with your knife where you're cutting. And just, just like this, I'm using the blade, getting nice and close to the edge, getting all the meat as possible. And don't forget about the codes, guys, for these awesome knives as well, because you guys always ask me what fillet knives I'm using. My code, Darcizzle15, for 15% off your purchase, plus free shipping on Smith's website. And they have a lot of awesome knife sharpeners, like that diamond steel one I've got right in front of me. But awesome stuff for everybody hunting and fishing alike. And now let's knock off this other side and then we're all set. We'll skin this bad boy. This is a really nice vermilion bee liner. I'm actually not sure why they're called bee liners, but that's another common name for these guys. All right, there we go. Just knocked off both sides. He's done. Same exact knife. I'm just gonna go ahead and skin him. Pretty easy to skin. Just get right close to that skin there and then just slide it right down. Now, I know this looks weird to y'all, but I'm left-handed, so sorry. Get that pin bone out. Boom, done. Beautiful vermilion snapper filet. That is a beautiful filet right there.